making a wind sack. That's right, a wind sack. Not a wind sock, not a windmill, but a wind sack. I'm using this paper sack and cutting off this bottom part right here. You can even use this for something else, and sometimes I do. But today we're not, so I'm just going to save it right over here. And I have the rest of the sack, the top part of the sack. Just one of those regular paper sacks that maybe you would use to put some snacks in or a sack lunch. And then after I do that, cut that bottom off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold down this top, okay? Just going to have to go gently, a little bit at a time. It might tear a little bit. Do you see right there? It's going to be okay. No worries. Remember, this is art. And we're not going to stress over perfection. Alright. There we go. Okay. Now, what you could do is have an adult help you with that part. Um, the reason it needs to be a little thicker up here is because we're going to put a hole in it. I have a paper punch. We're going to put a hole right in here. And when we're all done decorating the outside here and putting our streamers on, we're going to use this yarn to tie from one side to the other so we can hang it on a tree outside. Or really anywhere else you want to hang it. That'd be just great. All right, so I want to decorate my wind sack. And there are four sides. Two short ones and two wider long ones. So short, wide, short, and wide. We, today, I'm just going to decorate the two wider sides. But you can do whatever you want on yours. So I have blue and blue ribbon and blue, blue, tan and white yarn. I think for what I want to do, I'm going to do circles. Maybe uh, blue circles and some brown snowflakes. So I'll just draw my first circle right here and color it in. Maybe a bigger one over here. Color it in as well. Do you like to color with crayons and draw things with crayons? Do you ever color in a coloring book? That's also fun to do. Be another big one down here. Okay, we're getting it. Coloring. I'm pressing a little bit hard on here, and the reason is is because I wanted a nice dark blue, but you never want to press too hard with a crayon because, and you probably know why, but I'm going to say it anyway, because the crayon will break. It happens. We don't have to be too sad when it does happen, but we just know that we want to be as gentle as we can. Now we'll do like a medium sized one up here. Um, when some of my children were little and they were in preschool, their preschool teachers would say, tickle the paper, tickle the paper. And I think that's really good advice. So I'm going to do these little crisscross things. Make an X straight down across the middle. Make an X straight down across the middle. Make an X straight down across the middle. And like I said, we could open it just like this 
and decorate this side too, but I'm only going to do those two sides. So let's do the other side. Let's put a big one right here. You can make any shape you want. You could draw. Sometimes when I've made these, I've done a rainbow on here, some clouds. I've done flowers. Those are fun. You could do a tree. You could make just squiggly lines or use a whole bunch of different colors and not just two. Whatever you want. That's what's so great about art. It's yours. It's your project and you turn it into whatever you want it to be. It's wonderful. Okay, maybe a really big one right here. There we go. You know, blue is a beautiful color and brown is a wonderful earthy color. And the blue kind of reminds us of the sky and the brown of the dirt. I'm going to take my wind sack and I'm going to hang it in a tree outside. We're having autumn weather today and it's a little bit rainy. So I might not be able to hang him up outside. Okay, we get to this part, and then we're going to cut some streamers on there. How long am I going to want? I don't know. So let me see. What if I do this? This will be a good way to measure. What if I take it and I measure as tall as my windsack is two times? Did you see how I did that? So. I took the end and I held it up to the bottom of my wind sack and then the top and then I do it two times. Okay, now I'm going to cut right there and set it right here. I want six of them if I can. There's one time, then I take my hand and put it right where my two thumbs together and then two and right here is where I'm going to cut. I am right handed. Do you know what that means? That means I write, I color, I cut with my right hand. I even wave usually with my right hand. Pretty much do everything. Eat with my right hand. My mom is left handed and so she would always write with her left hand but a lot of the other things that she did she would do with her right hand. She could use both of her hands. That's really cool too. Oh look not quite perfect. Maybe. Let's see. One, two. Ah! <laughs> awesome. I love it when that happens. All right. So I've got six of these right here. Let me grab my stapler. Just right over here. Out of the shot. But now we've got him, so I have a stapler. This is also something that you might want to have some help from an adult with. And I'm going to put two streamers on the large sides and one on <coughs> each of the small sides. So let's begin. Let's start with the small side. Staplers are a little bit tricky, getting it right in there. So sometimes in my preschool classes, this is where me and Miss Andra, 
the other preschool teacher, we would help the children with the stapling part when we make wind sacks. When we talked about air. Okay. One more short side. the last one. Yay! Okay, there's our streamers. I hope you can see it in the shot. There's our streamers like that. And now we need to cut this yarn. And we're going to very carefully, because it is just paper, you know how that goes, and it can tear so easily. We're going to tie a knot right here, go back through again, then over on this side. Tie a knot. over. Ta-da! Now, I'm going to, if it's not raining outside, I'm going to take it outside and I'll take a picture of it hanging in the tree. Okay, there it is, hanging in the tree. You can see the gentle wind blowing it. Just a nice little breeze. If it starts to rain, I'm going to need to bring it back in the house. I know sometimes people like to hand on doorknobs or there might be a hook somewhere in your home. You'll find a safe place for it. I hope you get an opportunity to make a wind sack and see it blow in the wind.